the Socratic seminar is a good way for students to um, come up with meaningful ideas and then share them with others. Any kind of situation where you want to have a discussion and want all your students involved, it's a great tool for. When setting up the Socratic seminar, you divide the class into two groups. There's an inner circle and an outer circle. The inner circle is permitted to speak, while the outer circle, they evaluate the speakers in the inner circle and actively listen to what they have to say, take notes, and kind of prepare for their own turn when they get to it. Students in the inner circle are given a talk object, and only students with the talk object are actually allowed to speak at that time. Generally, I allow about 10 minutes for the inner circle to answer a set of questions um, or have their discussion, and then you switch. The circle that was now listening becomes the talking circle. The talking circle then becomes the listening circle. Your job is to be a facilitator. You actually don't really get involved in it. It's more of a student-centered um, activity. So you need to make sure you keep things moving, um, keep the questions um, a good pace, kind of altering your plan, being flexible, being able to change your questions or building on questions that were um, brought up from other students. So ideas that they've come up with, being able to take those and formulate new questions or um, new ideas and just keeping it fresh. If you ask well thought out, um, open-ended, um, higher learning questions, then you're going to get some really good answers. Usually 10 minutes goes quite quickly. You can make it basically as long as you want. If you if it's really going well, you want to make it the whole lesson, it's a great tool. With the peer assessment, the students have an ability to agree or disagree with individual talkers. So while they're in the outer circle, they get a chance to have some independent thoughts and decide who they actually think is a good speaker and why. Um, do they agree with what they're saying? Does it make sense? Um, is it something that they've heard in the previous lessons? Um, is their information correct? And also how well they've actually managed to express those ideas. I found in my classroom, I was in a laboratory where the desks are um, basically planted to the ground. So you're limited to how you can move around um, the desks, but what we did was we had um, an inner circle around one group of desks and an outer circle around the other group of desks. So the students could actually observe from a different area the inner circle and the outer circle. And it worked just as well as if you had an actual inner and outer circle. So there's a lot of um, variability um, when you're doing this.